And those were representatives of the European Union's observer mission uh, who were here in Ghana to uh, monitor our elections, addressing a press conference there. You're welcome back to your election headquarters right here on the Joy News Channel and on Joy 99.7 FM and all our affiliate stations across the country, including myjoyonline.com where we are live and being watched by 17 and a half thousand of uh, your fellow Ghanaians. Of course, we're continuing to bring you updates from across the nation as uh, we head towards uh, this, uh, these final results to be announced by the chairperson of the Electoral Commission. But I'm told that we can go now to a... Uh, uh, actually, uh, a, a press conference has uh, concluded right now. Uh, Mr. Bugri Nabu addressed it. We'll bring you details of that in a very short while. Uh, but first, let us remind you of what Nana Adodankwe Kufus uh, Ado said to Elton John Brobe exclusively about 45 minutes ago. First of all, a matter for President Mahama. But I, I, I know him a little, and I believe that uh, he's a Ghanaian patriot, he's an honorable man, and uh, if he sees that he has lost, I believe he, he's, he's the sort of person who will do the right thing and make sure that whatever tensions and anxieties there are in the system are assuaged. Um, we're in a very tricky moment, as always in this electoral cycle, close to the, to the decision, but still some uncertainty as to the outcome. And it's important that all of us behave well, uh, our supporters, the general public, uh, especially the leaders of the country. The responsibilities on him are, are, are big ones, but I believe that he is capable of meeting those responsibilities and working to bring our country together and ensuring the peace and stability of our nation. The John Muhammad that I know is somebody I believe is capable of rising to that, to the occasion. First of all, a matter for President Muhammad, but I, I, I know him a little. And that was what Nanado Dankwa Ikufo Ado had to say about President Muhammad. And, uh, and we will come back to that as we round up our conversation with our guest, Mr. John Jinapo, Deputy um, Minister of Power. But before we get to that, I'm told that that press conference with Mr. Bugri Nabu uh, of the NPP is continuing. Let's very quickly pick up the detail of what he is sharing with the press. Right, we have to apologize. We have some technical difficulties there with um, that particular press conference. We're still uh, attempting to connect and we'll let you know as soon as we do. But for now, let's, uh, let's round up our conversation with Mr. John Jinapo, Deputy Power Minister. And of course, uh, you've held that position for quite a while. But the, the last thing I do want to uh, pick up uh, from you is this particular issue that uh, Nana Adudankwe Kufuado was addressing. He talked about um, knowing President Mahama to be a, a, an honorable man, knowing him to be a gentleman and uh, a person who always does the right thing. Uh, wow. We also heard uh, President Mahama himself when he addressed uh, the crowd outside uh, his location earlier today, speaking in a very statesmanly manner, addressing the people and asking everybody to remain calm uh, and uh, you know, to accept whatever the outcome. Uh, do, you, do you feel that President Mahama feels the same way about uh, Nane Kufuado? Well, I hope that the likes of Mr. McMenu and Samir Oko will take a cue from Nanado's statement. I am hearing Nanado describe him as, as a humble man who will make the right decision. And where I took particular interest is he says that President Mahama will do the right thing and would call him if he feels he's losing. And so it, it erases all those issues about call Nanako for the call Nanako. He says he knows him. And that look, if President Mama genuinely was losing, he would have called him. So if he hasn't called him, he should tell you that genuinely President Mama feels he's not losing. Secondly, I don't need to sit here and tout President Mama's credentials. Everybody knows President Mama as a cool, calm, with a very good demeanor. I mean, President Mama will not hurt a fly just because he wants to win power. 
No. His interest is serving this nation. And truth be told, President Mahama is giving his all to this country. He served very, very well. He's done monumental projects. But I'm sure that we'll have another time to discuss some of these issues. And so I was with him this afternoon before coming here. He's cool, he's calm, he remains his, 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 his usual self. He's quite calm, his demeanor, his usual humility and all that. And so I think that we just have to remain calm. I mean, these are just elections. Yes, the stakes are high. We are all determined to win, but the nation must move on. And so let's remain quite calm and frank with each other. Let the process come to its logical conclusion. And I'm sure that once we get there, we can pick the pieces and move on. I don't think that we need to strangulate ourselves, hasten ourselves, and push ourselves into the ditch just because of power. And what, what touched me was when the supporters moved in there, masked up, and they called and told them, look, if you create any problem, we are in government. This nation is superior. Remain calm, I would accept the results. That is the mark of a leader. And I salute President Mahama for that. I, I salute him for that. Mm. Now, um, uh, under whichever president, uh, a fresh administration will be begin on the 7th of January this year. Um, now, you've played an important role in this one as the Deputy Minister for Power. Um, what will be your abiding memories and what do you believe is your legacy at this point? Well, I've served him as spokesperson when he was vice president. And don't forget, even when he was president, I served him as spokesperson for close to one year. That's what people forget. It was since President Nelson's death, I spoke for him. I was with him, campaigned with him throughout the election. And uh, I was appointed as deputy minister. And I think that as deputy minister, I've given of my best. And President Mama himself testified to that when he came to my constituency. And so on the 7th of January, if he chooses to appoint me into another position, with humility, I would humbly accept that and serve him. And I continue to wish him all the best. I have worked quite closely with him. I, I know him. Look, in my opinion, he's the best president Ghana can ever have. And so I'm hopeful and confident that on the 7th of January, God willing, if our projections are anything to go by and he assumes office again, I'm sure that whatever he chooses to do with me, I would oblige. Uh, I wish everybody all the best. Mm. And if you find yourself out of uh, government? Uh, this is not a time to, to, to consider that. I, I remain a bit. I remain optimistic. I remain confident. I have absolute trust in the campaign team that President Mahama is constituted. I know they've worked diligently and just as I did in my constituency. I, I went the extra mile. You do recall that I, I was mocked when I went on a campaign and had to sleep in a canoe. It became a big issue on social media. <laughs> I was mocked. But you know, when you are mocked and you eventually win, it's quite refreshing. And so I pray that the, the effort of President Ma is put in this campaign, the toil. And I could see that President Mama was giving his all, his heart, his soul, his whole life to this campaign. Even when the campaign took a toll on his health, he stood and, uh, and still went on. And I, I salute him for that. And that's why I am confident that his efforts, his, his, his laborious work and hectic work that he's gone through would not come to naught and that God Almighty would reward him. And so let's see how it goes. Be that as it may, uh, life must move on. And that's, that's, that's how it is. John Jinapo, thank you and good luck. Thank you. I'm grateful. Well, this is your election headquarters. We are, of course, live on the Joy News Channel and on Joy 99.7 FM. We're also interactive on social media. You can tweet at us. Use the hashtag ElectionHQ and send all of your thoughts and tweets to us at Joy News on TV and at Joy 997 FM. We're also on Facebook, uh, where you can watch us on Facebook Live and also on MyJoyOnline.com. Come <laughs>